Greetings, beautiful spirit. Namaste, Mahamatma Sundaram. Which means, actually, I humbly bow unto you, great spirit of beauty. Um, so, it's been a little while since my last video. And that's because it works. <laughs> um, the last video, I described an affirmation that popped in my head. And the affirmation was a result of practices and physical, uh, how do I say it? <laughs> physical practices that are well established. And those affect your spirit body, your mental body, your emotional body, etc. So after the realization came and I started practicing the affirmation that was a result of these physical practices, things started changing, things started happening. And therefore, I felt really no reason to uh, make the other two videos. So this is going to be the second slash third video in the series as a summary, a quick um, wrap up of everything rather than making two more videos like I said I was going to. This one video is going to summarize all the physical actions I was doing to obtain the uh, lifting of the Kundalini through the Vishnu Granthi and what helped to make the realization happen. After doing the realization affirmation, um, a lot of things changed. <clears throat> In the last video, I mentioned that it's a catalyst for change. Um, you have to come to a loving state, a loving place in order to accept where you are and accept that it's exactly where you're supposed to be. And once that happens, everything changes from there. When it pops up, things that you realize are not right with your actual relationships with the world around you. So I'm not going to get specific with my own personal life because it doesn't matter. It does not matter. But I will say that the affirmations that I said in the last video, and you guys may remember it. I'm going to say it again because it's so important. I deserve love. I love who I am. I belong here. My love satisfies all of my needs and desires. Okay? So again, you say the affirmation as it will be, as you want it to be, not as it is right now. So don't don't uh, dilute it by saying, I feel like I belong here I at the moment, and I, I think that I, I deserve love. No, no, no. Say it like it's fact, because then it becomes fact. Your reality, your belief systems. Your reality is a, re is a reflection of your belief systems. Okay, so, I've been saying that affirmation, and a lot of things changed, and uh, for the better, I might add. <laughs> and it involved other people. These affirmations are based on the heart chakra, based on the dwelling place of your soul, and your natural state of being is love. And anytime anyone else stifles your belief that you deserve love and that you're able to give love freely without judgment, it uh, hinders your ability to um, have energy flowing freely throughout your whole entire energy system. So again, this is a very difficult uh, granti to break through, which is why it's important and why I'm making a video of it. Okay, so I've already wasted three and a half minutes telling you why there was no video but the first one. Now I'm going to go over very quickly all the things that I did to make this realization happen. Okay, so number one, <clears throat> there are things called Kriyas. Um, depending on your education so far in yoga, uh, you may not know what this is. Basically, it's when your body reacts to energy flow and it moves in its own way. And it's basically a breaking out of energy blockages. Some people have enlightenment without any Kriyas. They have no experiences that are supernatural with the Kundalini Awakening. And that means that their energy flow is already so pure, so f so fluid, fluid that they don't have to purge them with energy movements. So I started to experience this Kriya automatically. It wasn't brought about by me practicing anything in, uh, in particular, but it just started happening where I was finding myself randomly sucking in my upper abdomen really, really hard. And uh, it was for no apparent reason. So I started wondering, why is my body doing this? Maybe I should look it up. So I did. And it's the Udayana um, Mudra. It's uh, Hatha Yoga, if you guys remember what that is. Uh, anyway, you can look it up for the specifics. So 
what I realized was my body was trying to push the energy up automatically so I could either fight it or I could go along with it. So if you're going to go along with it, there are other things to help improve the energy flow upward. So I wanted to increase the amount of energy in my body, not necessarily physical, but you know what I mean, and make it force up stronger than before. So these are some practices that you can do to increase the energy in your body and make them flow through. In other words, you're basically pushing very, very high pressure through the channels and making them break blockages. It's not always comfortable, it's not always pleasant, but it is efficient and it works. So uh, the first one is withholding your seed, brahmacharya. Um, brahmacharya actually means staying with, that's the charya part, Brahma, which is God. So staying with God is the Sanskrit word for celibacy, but it's more than celibacy. It's using your energy in an intentional way to stay in a higher vibration. So that's why it's staying with God. So Brahmacharya, I did not partake in any uh, sexual activity for a certain time period. Now in this particular practice, six days was what it took, okay? So I did not do any sexual activity for six days. And you're thinking, that's not very long. You're right. That's a good point. It's not very long, so anyone can do it. Number two, when you want to shunt the energy from your lower energy systems up to your higher energy systems, you can turn off your digestive tract. So I fasted for six days. So no uh, sexuality and fasted for six days. That's not that hard. People say it is hard. They don't know. It's actually very, very easy. So... Two important practices that helped. <clears throat> the third was what uh, I was describing. The Kriya that was happening by itself, the Udayana, is when you're, uh, you're sucking in your digestive tract and energy has been shunted up. So um, there are lots of YouTube videos and new tutorials and even websites to tell you how to do that. So I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You already know. Another one that I did was um, breathing deep into my chest and then pushing the energy down into my stomach while holding the mula bandha, which is uh, basically your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your kegel exercise. Tightening all the muscles below, pushing the energy down from your chest into your abdomen, and you're going to feel the energy come up and it creates pressure in your brain. You feel a lot of pressure. And uh, I've done videos about this before, so I don't need to do any more. Those were the main practices that I did to have this realization. No sexual activity for six days, fasting for six days, and the uh, Udiyana breath, and the other one, I forgot what it's called. That was it. And when that happened, I came to the realization, I deserve love, I love who I am, I belong here, and my love satisfies all my needs and desires. And that changed a lot of things. Um, this video is already eight minutes long. I think that's good enough. There will not be a third video about this because it all works already. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or want any assistance, please let me know. I'm always here to help you. Um, that's about it. Take care, you guys. You know I will. Thanks. Bye.